welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to talk about all the dark and gothic books I want to read. So I actually don't remember any of the books I have added that I want to read. So I'm just going to read off the summaries from my Goodreads list because these are added like a while back so I don't remember anything. <laughs> but um, let's get going. Into, let's get going. My first book is A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. This is like a classic dark retail of Beauty and the Beast. So I like Beauty and the Beast. I like, I like Beauty and the Beast and it's one of my favorite classic fairy tales ever. So I'm excited about this book. It's pretty much following like the classic one where we have a beast, we have the creature that stalks the forbidden wood, and the dragon prince. So. We are following the beast who has suffered fate far worse than death, and we have, like we all have, a curse put upon us by the Mad King. We are kingdom locked in time. Shifters unable to feel our animals, stuck here by a deal between the late king and a demon who seeks our destruction. And then we follow the girl, who is probably Belle in this book, who is who is, who is like Belle because she follows him and how he is, she is being in a treacherous path because she went in there and you know so apparently she she can save him and she might be in a ruin and my next one is Madness by, Ke by Kaylee Lee Samuel so again we have a starry out child who wants to believe in that her shining prince will light up her white horns and present her a diamond ring and carry me away to his castle. His love would be endless and our lives would be the happily ever after all the girls dream about. I never knew in the fifth there was nothing more than a lie. It is only for 18 plus. If you are under 18, don't read this book. There are emotionally changed... Ch uh, there are emotionally charged, emotionally charged themes, so do be careful and and yeah, fun reading, I guess. And my next one is Haunting Annalyn by H.T. Carlton. So we have this manipulator who, who can manipulate emotions of anyone who, who lets me. So she can make you hurt, she can make you laugh and sigh, but the words don't affect him. Especially not when I plead for him to leave. He's always there, watching and waiting, and I can never look away. Not when I want him to come closer. That's creepy, really. So, I'm excited for it, but that's so creepy. And we have Link Sage by Linda Clifton. I have wanted to read this book for so long, and I'm really hoping that I will, because it's been on my TV for a while. And this is like a gothic fantasy about monsters and magic that's set on the banks of a castle. The next book is The Thief in the Tide by Rebecca F. Kelly. So, again, I don't know too much about this one, so let's just read it off. So this is pitched as t Attack on Titan with mermaids. This savage gender swapped retelling of The Little Mermaid is perfect for fans of Jennifer L., Jennifer I. Armentor, Alexandra Crystal, and Holly Black. So if you like Attack on Titan, The Little Mermaid, you'll like this book. And my next one is Along the Razor's Edge by Rob J. Hayes. And so this, so this is like when no one escapes the pit, and like how there's a prison that is sunk so deep into the earth, the sun is a distant memory. And now we're fighting an Escada Helenson, who has been stripped off from magic, and now she is surrounded by thieves, murderers, and worse. In order to survive, she will need to find new allies, play the inmates against each other, and find a way out. Her enemies were soon by the Skada is not so easily broken. So, this book is The Lighthouse Witches by C.J. Fookie. So, this is when two sisters go missing on a remote Scottish island. Twenty years later, one is found. But she is still the same age as when she disappeared. The secrets of witches have reached a cross in centuries in this chilling gothic thriller from the author of the acclaimed The Nesting. So this kind of reminds me of, um, I think it's called Ohio Bachu in Romania. Like, I think there's a story about a girl who went missing, but then she came back. And 
except she has a different age and she still wore that same dress when she went missing. So that kind of reminds me of this book and that forest, so it'll be exciting. This book is The Spirit Engineer by A.J. West, so again, I don't know too much about this, so let's just read off the summary. Last 1914, two years after the sinking of Titanic, I love Titanic by the way, High society has become obsessed with spiritualism in the form of shions that attempt to contact the spirits of love and lost in sea. And, and this is actually based on the true story of William Jackson Crawford and famed medium Kathleen Collingwood. So, and with the cast of characters that include Arthur Conan Doyle and Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini is a famous magician, if you guys don't know. So, the spirit engineer conjures a haunting tale that will keep readers guessing until the very end. So, I like Titanic and everything about Titanic, I'll read it on the spot. My next book is Bella Donna by Adeline Grace, and I think she's the author of All the Stars and Feet, I think it was called, with the pirates and like the little mermaid tidbit. So, I was kind of hesitant to read this book, but I still kind of want to read it, just, but, um, it just see what it says. So, playing often as a baby, 19-year-old singer, singer, has been married by a string of guardians, each more interested in her wealth than her well-being, which is sad. A guardian should always be more looking out for her well-being, not because of the wealth. That's the right note. And... And each has met an untimely end. Her remaining relatives are the elusive Hawthorns, an eccentric family living at Thorn Grove, an estate both fluttering and glooming. So, now yeah, we're following my, my commander and how her spirit has been restless. Uh, the mother was claiming she has been poisoned, so now we're following Singya, who wants to uncover this murdered and wiping alliance with Beth himself. So. It's a spooky read. If you like this one, you will like spooky things. And my next book is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Limba Bray. And I think she's also the author of The Diviners, which I still haven't read yet. I don't know, I'm kind of hesitant to read on that, but just because it has been so hype. Huh? So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to read that one yet. But like, this is a deep, deep gothic novel, mysterious visions, dark family secrets and a long lost diary trust Gemma and her classmates back into the hallways of Fallen Hall from India. And it is ages 12 plus, so be careful. My next book is The Haunting Season Ghostly Tales for Long Winter Nights. So there's like a numerous authors who took place in, so it's by Bridget Collins, Natasha Puri, Imogen Herman Skawa, and then so many more. So this is like short stories I'm guessing about you know hauntings and during the winter if you like spooky and winter you'll like this book. My next book is The Island House by Amanda Brittany. Once so, you're on the island you will never want to leave until you can. Dun, dun, dun. So we, we have a dark family secret and we're following Alice whose father dies on a hit on a tragic hit and run, and his death stirs up some unanswered questions about her childhood. She finds, like, a, like, like she receives an anonymous letter containing a photograph of being furbished, gothic, guest house surrounded by water, and an invitation to stay, all memories fight to resurface. Alice has visited before, she is certain of it. <laughs> that sounds spooky. My next one is Anatomy, a love, of sto a love Story by Dana Schwartz. So this is Edinburgh, 1817. Hazel Sinner is a lady who wants to be a surgeon more than she wants to marry. And then we have Jack Culler, who is a rescuation man who has just tried to survive in a city where it's too easy to die. Talking about this full of mystery and romance about a willful female surgeon an excavation man who sells bodies for a living, and the burning secrets they must uncover together. Wow. <laughs> the final book is The Resting Place by Cornelia Stan and Alexander Fleming, and this is a spine chain for psychological assessment 
from international sensation Chameleon Spin. The medical term is prosopagnosia, and the average person calls it face blindness. The inability to recognize a familiar person face, even the face of those closest to you. When Eleanor walked in on the scene of a carelessly cruel grandmother, Vivian's murderer, she came face to face with the killer, a maddening expression that means nothing to someone like her. And then now we're having a lawyer calling in, and then Viviana has left her house, and how the estate tucked away in the Swedish woods, the place her grandfather died suddenly. A place that has housed a dark past for over 50 years. That's a pretty long time for a secret to be uncovered. We have Veronica, her, so now we have Elena, her boyfriend Sebastian, and her aunt Veronica, and the lawyer, who will all go to this house of secrets looking for answers, but as they get closer to bringing the truth to light, they will wish they had never come to disturb what rests here. Oh, then sounds so spooky. It's all Halloween here. I am ready for Halloween to come. I miss it so much. I miss the thrill. I miss the horror. The spooky. All the paranormal. You guys get the idea. So, yeah. But these are all the books that I want to read for a dark and gothic vibe. And it's also perfect for Halloween as well. Okay, so if you like this, so comment down below what books you want to read for Dark and Gothic. And please like this video, comment, and subscribe so that you won't miss a video every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! I think it's magic.